Now I know what you might be thinking, why do you need a basic exercise like push-ups to build muscle and strength? Well push-ups aren't as easy as people think. People mistake push-ups for an easy exercise, but they often perform them incorrectly and don't give them the adequate respect and attention they deserve. Push-ups are one of the best exercises you can do when executed correctly, and they involve a lot more muscles than just your chest and your triceps. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you which muscle groups you should be using and how, while also helping you correct the common and often overlooked mistakes involved with this exercise. We'll be using the standard shoulder width push-up in this video, but a lot of the advice can be equally applied to most other push-up variations too. To start things off, let's take a quick look at the common mistakes while performing the push-up, and then go over how we can rectify them. You'll need to avoid these common mistakes to both perfect and progress your push-ups. Hands in front of shoulders. This puts you in the wrong starting position for each rep and usually predisposes you to other mistakes that follow. Craning the neck. This puts a lot of strain on the neck and shortens the range of motion. Shrugging the shoulders. This can cause impingement of the neck, shoulders, and even the upper back. Arch lower back or sagging hips. This reduces the range of motion and puts a lot of strain on the lumbar spine. Flaring the elbows. This causes shoulder internal rotation and risks impingement at both the shoulder and the elbow joints. Incomplete reps. These will shorten the range of motion and therefore not work the target muscles adequately. All these mistakes use your muscles and joints ineffectively. They also often lead to pain and will limit your ability to progress to more advanced push-up variations later on. To avoid the common mistakes and ensure you have proper push-up form, ensure you do the following. Make sure your shoulders are set over your wrists and not behind them. Tuck your chin in and keep your head neutral and in alignment with your body. Maintain a straight or slightly hollowed body position from head to toe by contracting your glutes and abs to adopt a posterior pelvic tilt. See our dish hold tutorial for more on this. Keep your hands neutral while externally rotating them into the floor, similar to what you do with your feet in a squat. This will really help you to depress your shoulder blades and ensure you have a good arm angle. Your arms should be angled no more than 45 degrees away from the torso and look like you're forming an arrow when viewed from the top. In the bottom position, your wrist should be directly under your elbows with forearms vertical. As you lower yourself down, you should fully retract your shoulder blades together at the bottom so that your body uniformly grazes the ground. Make sure you go all of the way up and fully protract your shoulder blades away from each other at the top of the movement too. If you follow these cues, you'll build yourself a perfect push-up. As you can see, there is a lot more to push-ups than you think. My advice to you if you're doing them incorrectly is to regress the exercise to an easier variation and work on correcting one or two mistakes at a time. We have a separate video on this that you can check out that is linked in the description to this video. Remember that if you don't use good form, you'll inevitably hit a roadblock with your progress. You'll also experience pain as a likely result, whilst also missing the muscles that you're trying to target in the first place. So be sure to give your push-ups the attention and respect they deserve, and let me know in the comments section below about how you go with your push-up technique development. If you want me to continue to make videos like this, be sure to tap the like button and subscribe too, as it really helps out a lot. That's it from me. Make sure you check the description below too for your bonus resources as well. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.